Right. I have already received a question as to if you can edit these faces in studio. And the answer is yes. So we'll go ahead and open it up real quick. And what I'm going to do is come over to our template and right click on it, add part load. From here, I've got a SVG that I'm going to use. I'm going to need to position this. Now, it's important to note that it is currently a part of this assembly. As long as it's in the assembly, that's good. If this was separate, if I'd loaded it as a separate object, it would be a lot more troublesome. I'm going to go ahead and set this to white just so we can see it. The reason why I want it in this assembly is now its movement and alignment and everything is based on the plate itself and not on uh, the build plate, but on the faceplate here, excuse me. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and rotate this over. We'll get it aligned, just make it zeros. Height is a tricky thing, and before I change height, I'm going to go to scale. Um, I'm going to uncheck uniform scale. I want this to be 0 0.6 millimeters thick. And that's the thickness of my face. That's what I print them in. Uh, of course, it fell through the floor there, but that's okay. Something to consider about the way Studio works. It works in midpoints. If I tell this just to go to zero, it's going to be in the middle of my box. You won't be able to see it at the, in the face. You won't be able to see it anywhere. So I need to put this where it will still come through, but not uh, extend too far or be floating. In this case, I know that ha my, my face is five millimeters tall in total, and I need to adjust for the midpoint of that with the midpoint of my text. So it'd be 2.5, oh, it'd be 2.5, except it's from uh, my text, which is 0.6 thick, so it's actually 2.2. The height of my object minus, or I'm sorry, half the height of my object minus half the height of what I'm adding to it. When I do that, it's now going to show on both sides. And since my um, SVG is already inverted, I don't have to rotate it over. That's now centered the appropriate height. If I go ahead and slice it, what I should see is a proper Go Sports Ball Team sign. So. There you go. We'll check real quick just to make sure it's extruding the correct height. I'm going to toggle only one layer of visibility, go down to the bottom, first layer, second layer, third layer. There we go. Nothing past there. So it's the correct thickness. It's in the middle. That would print cleanly.